Hey, welcome to EVE Online, Major Freak. Oh, their web store, lol. Um, is it worth going with the packs when they're on the sale? Eh, let's check it out. Um, just a heads up, if you're an alpha player thinking, ooh, get that 50% off starter pack, you only get it once per account. <clears throat> uh, except every time they refresh and redo the starter packs. <laughs> They've done that, I believe, at least once before. <laughs> and, yeah, so <clears throat> it's getting more frequent. So <clears throat> take advantage of it because they'll be fresh in the future. So, But the thing is, as an alpha player, you do not want to get the week of Omega until... You have enough um, to get a pay for the um, clone installations. I'm sure you could go to Perimeter to Verite, I think. Uh, one of the uh, one of the really cheap uh, clone installation ones. Head there. Make sure you have enough um, ISK to purchase uh, Omega level. The, the Omega level implants you would like. Um, and once you do that, you can quickly train up your... Now remember, some of these uh, implants you would, you would like will need Cybernetics 5, and that's exorbitant training time. So I would avoid getting the really blingy um, implants. Just figure out your skill requirements make sure they're pretty low for cybernetics go for it train up your cybernetics train up your infomorph psychology you won't be able to get it to level five but you'll get enough for like three or four um clones plug in your implants get it set up and at the end of the week you revert back to alpha but Unlike skills, you get the benefits of the implants, even if they're Omega requirements. So you get all the wonders of your implants. You're allowed to jump into these implant uh, clones with these implants, and you now have jump clones. And you, if you're in a station, any station now, and I'd recommend NPC station, even though it costs a million per jump. Yeah, you might begin through Alpha. You might need to find a reliable upwell you can do that like say one of the perimeter ones that is cheap do be careful because if um yeah keep an eye on your uh upwell uh jump clones because if the structure is reinforced um and goes to low power that usually means hull um you you will lose the ability to jump out uh, and rescue your uh, um, jump clone. So do be careful. I would recommend if you're going to go, go down this route, uh, make sure they're in NPC stations. Uh, eventually, you can shuffle them out slowly from uh, the cheap uh, station. Okay, so that's what I'd recommend. Um, yeah, and you'd have the ability to swap certain skill bonuses like mining or missioning or you know exploration or stuff like that you eh, want to try exploration today just for a couple hours then go back to mining right so you can do that now and safely now that you can swap uh clones in an npc station without the cooldown all right so that's out of the way uh, highly recommend it absolutely uh, everything else well platinum well, okay, so you get 90 days. Let's go by the default. When I was paying for my accounts, for my subscriptions, I would do the three-month deal because I'm not rich. I can't blow, like, you know, every year all my accounts. You know, I could stagger it, but I'm not a math genius. So I just went with three months. It was cheap. I don't have a lot of money, and I'm all, I was able to do it that way. Um, so we're going to go by the default pr 
price of every three months and go look at the three months how much the cost it's going to cost you 48 so let's go buy the, the that price that you know so 48 so 90 days normally it costs you 48 if you wanted the platinum it would cost you 100 so i'm going to screw that but 48 that's uh, roughly 20 bucks more us for what do you get 1500 plex how much plex so that's a lot <laughs> so it's a great deal if you like buying plex i would recommend you not buy plex um especially 1500 plex is what now, 1500 plex translates to, um, you know, if you put it straight into purchasing a uh, monthly subscription, that's, you've just doubled your, um, doubled your subscription to uh, 180 days, six months. So you've turned this into a six month. How much is a six month, you know? 87 okay so is it worth it i would think so if you did it that way that's pretty that's a great deal if you put it directly and don't get you know oh i want to you know buy some bling just put it straight in it's a great investment you only get a once per account quote unquote It'd probably take a couple of years till they revamp the starter kits again so they can get more bling out of you because what do they care right what do they care it's just a empty promise for the players oh well we <laughs> so many empty promises I just don't believe them they're just out to get money so they can start um you know fritter it away not on us on little trendy IPs that Hilmar, you know, gets addicted to. Uh, I want to, you know, we got so much money from this deal. I want to uh, start up an, another company and uh, diversify. He's freaking hopeless. So, yeah. They want money. Your money. And they don't care what they do and how they whore this, uh, themselves out. It, the entire company is run by marketing now. It is just, yeah, it's all blather. So, it's a good deal. You only get it once. I would go for it. Um, yeah, I, if I was paying every three months, I'd definitely go for it. It's like, Jesus, that's an awesome deal. Um, 70 bucks, Jesus. That's about what I have. I suck at math. Um, let's see, currency. Amount seventy US dollars to okay, again, so Ugh yeah, what about I guessed at? So almost a hundred bucks. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. I just I don't have the money to do that. I'd be like, ouch. Maybe if I was a solo client, I'd definitely go for it. Um, once you start getting into, you know, multi-boxing, it's, <laughs> you're like, uh, you know, rent's a third of my paycheck, right? <laughs> so it's like, whatever. Um... You know, it's it's worth it if you can afford it. Um, but yeah, if you're multi-boxing, it's, it's pretty brutal. Uh, yeah, do a, a bash fobs and plex your account. Pirate Strongholds. Um, if you're a huge multi-boxer. Uh, so worth it. Gold starter pack. 60 days. So that's two months. I think they only have one in three months. Uh, is it worth it? No. Um, silver to start a pack. 30 days. 250. How much is there's actually selling? And I don't, I, 
I think you can buy it like, you know, it's not a disclaimer of once. You could buy this, you know, you just pump your money into this. And it's this is not <laughs> not recommending buying this. <clears throat> but it's not lowered by it goes directly into your and allocated it's not like a skill injector where it goes well you've got too many skill points we're lowering this yeah it goes straight in so it's just retarded um <clears throat> wow so what five bucks worth <clears throat> barf uh, <laughs> yeah five bucks plus yeah if i don't want to call you an idiot <laughs> but yeah want to be an idiot go for that skill points what the, that it's just dude, 250 skill points is like what i'm ballparking it but it's not huge you're like that's three days of three to five days of skill points if you're lucky uh, if you're an elf character, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah. When when you have, get skill points when you're an alpha character, it means a hell of a lot more than if you're an omega. So just a heads up. Uh, bronze starter pack, fourteen days omega. Uh, now this is cool. If you really wanted to go into say, you could, uh, I don't think you can get level five cybernetics in that 14 days but you could you could definitely get um into the next tier of uh psychology infomorph uh, infomorph psychology and highly recommend that it opens up your game to giving you 30 percent 25 percent to 30 percent boosts in certain areas of the game when you just swap out for a different clone set um Yeah, it's uh, it's fun, um, but yeah, if if you don't have the isk to invest in that, um, then you're just wasting your, you know, um, because once you've trained up, you go back to alpha. You can't. Eh. You could probably start with this, do this, train it up, get your stuff that get your get your skills there, um, and then. If you go back to alpha um, and need that, you've got the ISKs now, you can do it, you've got it all set up, then you get the starter pack and then bam, 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 get all your clones done. But uh, yeah, I'd recommend that first and then this for, you know, even if it's not on sale, it's, it's you know, if you just want to get your jump clones. So yeah, definitely recommend that. <laughs> You could get both, I guess, and then have three weeks. You could probably get cybernetics to five, and then and for more. Yeah, you could probably do that. Uh, ballparking it. Yeah, I'm just guessing. But yeah, totally. Start with that. See if you can get your infomorph up, um, and hopefully cybernetics to a level you can get away with it. I think any omega implant needs level five. And the uh, Epsilon needs level 5. But I'm not sure. Anyways. Um, yeah. We can sleep. It's like, lol. <laughs> yeah. Say this for... If you, say, lose a clone or something. Or, or get enough money to put in that last Omega implant. Or, or, or something. You know use that but it's only when you need omega to implant those uh, clones or install more jump clones that's when you take them um yeah screw off uh, screw off this one's an interesting one screw off screw off this one's interesting <laughs> because it gives you a expert pack and it gives you the ability to jump into a, a barge, which is Omega. But the modules you can plug in are all Alpha. 
And if you don't dock and you keep that character in space, you get a alpha level barge. I'm not sure about the efficacy of the mining once you drop back to alpha compared to say adventure, but you've got an alpha level barge. So that's, you know, <laughs> something to consider when it's on sale, you know? But if you just wanna have a hoot with a barge and go, hey, screw you, CCP. Yeah, I'm sure if they catch wind of it, they'll go, well, why do we have tech one mining late uh strip miners as non-omega <laughs> we never we never intended that and they just you know change it so while you can get away with it it's a, it's a funny thumb your nose at ccp and yeah i would not recommend multiple character training buying through the website it doesn't make any bloody sense oh my god that's disgusting yeah, some of these is like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, watch. See this? Why would anybody do this? Well, um... <laughs> one of her... One of her... Uh, one of my old alliance uh, members... Probably... Whatever. It, he... he Paid high tech pirates fifty billion is up uh, up uh, is yeah. Guess what that translates to? Yeah, almost twelve thousand plex. Four hundred twenty bucks. Yeah, don't pay ransoms. Just think about it before you pay ransoms. Just hello. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's get some real world perspective, please on uh <laughs> yeah anyways <clears throat> there is no reason for uh, like there used to be some good reasons for uh high sec um clone jumping that you can make cheap and you know since you're fueling them it's reliable but since they made npc swapping and stations not incurring a cooldown there is zero reasons for high sec upwells i mean there never was for um and that's the ref ref well there was for refineries but then they nerfed the abcs in high sec which was kind of over op I'll tell you the truth but <laughs> once they nerfed that it's like game over for that and the the engineering one there was never a good idea to make an engineering one in high sec. Just believe me, it's not. Not unless you're one of the big, you know, industrial, you know, the the major um, hubs for marketing. <laughs> you know, uh, there's no benefit, zero. There's no bonus that you can't get an NPC station in low, low sec if you're smart. And you go about it right. But yeah, please don't. <laughs> There's no reason anymore. I, you're just going to be a whale. Anyways, yeah. Just another fool with an Rorca trying to jump to high sec from low. Why isn't it working? Not understanding what fuel means. Not understanding what sinos mean. Why can't I jump? Kill mail. <laughs> so yeah be a whale but hopefully no whales are watching my channel because they just wouldn't understand why shouldn't i blow 420 bucks Duh. my mummy's credit card anyways uh have yourself a good one yeah good deal <laughs> yeah anything close to 100 bucks i'm like why yeah it's a game jesus don't don't waste money on a screensaver with a built-in chat function. It's a nice screensaver with a built-in chat function. And if you multibox, it's more challenging. That's why I multibox. But at the end of the day, it's just like watching Truman Show or the Ed TV. Just, you know, there are other channels. Just If you quit for a while, come back, you're going to um, start where you left off. Go have a vacation from Eve. Come back and go, 
I really want to play this game? And if you do, then great. I've done that before. Um, yeah, it's cool. Uh, you don't have to wait in the lobby. You don't have to deal with boring AI all the time. Uh, you actually deal with risk of losing stuff, which is cool. Uh, you can't save scum, which is cool. Um, yeah, it's a whole bunch of... Yeah, this is me having fun in a game. And most of the interaction is with players, which is unpredictable, which is fun. But don't waste your money on these fools. They won't invest back in the game. They'll fritter away. They've always done that. So don't waste your money on them. It's... Uh, they're there to bilk money from you, so don't let them. And on these sales, sure, hell yeah, totally fun. Um, wh what about me? What would I do right now? Uh, I believe I've taken advantage of all the starter sets currently since the revamp for all my, maybe not the bronze starter pack, maybe? Um, for all my alphas, I've got their implants in. I've got most of their junk clones in to the maximum that I can. I'm happy. It's all good. I don't need to invest any more time. I won't do it personally because, yeah, I've got, let's see, uh, one, two, three, four. I've got four alpha accounts um, that have been uh, given these packs, some of them at least one um got what i need i'm happy i don't need to invest anymore in it um my main my mains they're through through the in-game discounts on on plex uh sorry uh in-game discounts on multiple months of uh, omega time that used to be just you could just purchase it one month in in the in-game store and now you can purchase more by Doing skill farming, I can subsidize my purchase of those in-game months, and I'm, I'm good till September. So I, I think I bought three three month uh, Omega packages bundled with the mct for three months for 50 percent off and i bought three of them i think in the last four months and combined with skill farming that gave me the ability to really explode my subscription time so yeah that's the only investment i've made in the last year and a half yeah the that if you're multi boxer bashing pirate strongholds is just it's just ridiculous. Um, if you say what you do is you go in, you get you know you, okay, I've got say with my l laptop, my backup computer, and my main computer, I could have eight accounts total, and I would go okay, well. Let's make a spider pattern of how far do I want to go out. So I, what's the maximum range you'd want to traipse back to your staging area with Lashax or Drekovacs or whatever? And I settled on 12. Any more than 12 is going to be onerous travel time. So, okay. So I brought up the, uh, I'll show you. I brought up the the agent, the agency. I went into agent search. I went for a mission uh, agent finder and I went for, I don't know, security agent. And I just went, or I don't even think I filtered it. And I just went into, okay, um, what is the furthest uh, up to, you know, 10 jumps, I think. And I was like, okay, I've never been there before set a waypoint in that direction and go oh okay that's cool and then i would keep doing that you know i'll give you an example do, 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 do. yeah my 
obsolete stagecoach doctrine. What a shame. Silly CCP. Pulse lasers out to 100 kilometers. <laughs> Lol. Anyways. Um, agency. Don't want to get distracted. Uh -huh. I know it's great. You can't resize this. Isn't that great? Sorry. Uh, uh, where is it? Um, Indian Finder, there it is. Yay. Uh, any type? Nah, nope. Um, any level, whatever. Um, within 10 jumps, right? And you go, I mean, sure, yeah, that's where I'm staging from. And I go, nine jumps, hill of band. And I'll pretend I, where is that? I've never been to that system before. And you go, okay. Um, uh, yeah, okay, over here. Oh, Tash Mercon. Okay, it's passive Tash Mercon. Okay, well... All right, so that's 11 jump. No, so that's nine jumps. That's 10 jumps. That's 10 jumps, 11 jumps, 12 jumps. Okay, so, okay, great. All right, so I'll send one of my characters that way. You know, I'll set up a waypoint system for that character. And then the spider pattern pretty much it's it's into this direction for say domain and then stretches out this direction it's kind of like a little umbrella it goes this way and this way a bit and then this way a bit and then this way a bit up here a bit and then over here and you can get with 12 jumps eight characters um you can get completely separate mostly completely separate search patterns that once you get out of the core area uh, you don't overlap hardly at all it's pretty cool um and once you've got a kind of inkling okay over there over here that's when you go to dot land i'll bring that up and show you So once you get a feel for this, it's easier to, once you've got it up um, where you want to go, you go, oh, okay, yeah, all right. So this area, and then I can maybe go off here, maybe, and it's like, how many jumps is that one? And and you start to go, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, what if I include that? How many jumps is that? And you start to build up a repertoire for each um, character you've got on the scouting thing to go out and search. And the best um, way to go out and search is use a fire tail fire tails are super quick and if you set up right they're they they move so fast um yeah and you just go out and simultaneously you can and the best way to do it is when you go out zoom in so when you jump to the next system you can see your clouded over cloak and you go, okay, I need to send that guy for, to the next uh, jump gate. And sometimes you'll backtrack too. Sometimes you'll like, you know, have a trundle back to your jump gate and jump through it again. But yeah, for the most part, it's pretty cool. I can do this in less than, I, around 45 minutes total for 12 jumps in every direction. It takes 45 minutes and I usually get on the weekends three if I'm lucky. Uh, but on the slow times, you can find 10. And the way the system works is you kill one, another appears elsewhere. So if it's a slow period and you got a lot of them and you 
kill all the ones in your area. You might have a few in your area, but remember, this is a whole universe of, well, in Isaac, of where the fobs can spawn. Now, I'm not sure if you kill uh, Blood Raiders, maybe a Garistus will spawn, but that's the way I'm leaning. It, I think what it does, it just goes, you killed one in one area, the code, the mechanics go, you killed one in one area, I'm going to spawn another fob elsewhere, and it happens to be in a different zone, it'll switch to the Garistas or Blood Raiders, depending on where it wants to spawn. That's, just think about the mechanics. Um, and that's the way they coded it. So, yeah, you might get a whole bunch, but... If it's inactive, those other fobs really won't be touched a lot because it's a slow period, right? But if it's, you know, I wouldn't recommend doing it on the weekends. Just scout, get your 10 or so. It'll take like five hours to do them all or more. Um, yeah, I would highly recommend it. Uh, there are people using piles of nesters and yeah, just don't, don't do nesters. Just don't, don't. Um, the, the best way to do it is with trigs at first, because trigs, the spawnage of the fobs will depend on your, uh, designated hull DPS. Doesn't matter what you plug into it, it'll just spawn based on the hull. And trigs tend to spawn way less for their weight class than other stuff. <laughs> Yeah, especially nesters are just nuts. Um, so the whales will do it, um, but uh, don't expect you to be easily sailing in and a few nesters and rule the day. <laughs> hey, you're welcome to try. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there are some people who do it, but I would not recommend it your first time around. And it's a waste, too. The only reason these people do it is to spawn a shit ton of rats so nobody else wants to mess with it, right? Okay, thanks for watching, and have a good day. I rambled way off tangent there, sorry, off topic.